July 17, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 509 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Traffic is backed up from Crimea to Rostov. Ukraine appears to be yet again switching gears. In a month and a half of heavy fighting, a nation one quarter the size of its invader has killed 30,000 enemy troops and wounded at least three times as many, destroyed an average of 6.5 tanks per day and 1,000 towed artillery pieces or 21 pieces per day. It has killed at least a dozen high command officers, including two generals, and proven it can strike deep into enemy controlled territory with or without high tech gear. Nipa Line In the last 24 hours, Russian forces used 373 projectiles to strike Hesson. Road traffic in southern Hesson region is visible from space. Ukrainian naval patrols destroyed a large scout sized group of Russians. Zaporizhia Front Road traffic is backed up. Shelling was notably light or underreported to time of report. No confirmable combat reports from either side. East Front, Donetsk. Heavy shelling in this oblast on almost every village point of the line. A strike on what appears to have been military storage in a coal mine in eastern occupied Ukraine may be a good start to slowing those guns in this area. Bakhmut area. Ukraine continues to make what appear to be probing attacks north of the city. South of the city at Klishchivka both sides appear to be intent on winning the fight to keep the heights over the town which Ukraine currently holds. Oskol border front. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming that the Russian army has advanced to taking an outskirts of Torsk over the last four days. Those same sources suggest that Russian troops continue to attempt attacks in the surroundings of the village of Novosilivsky. North of Kupiansk heavy fighting is reported by both sides at Sinkovka. Northern border. Belarus is claiming they have destroyed or disabled a Ukrainian scouting drone. Black Sea. Russia is floating 10 warships with a volley capability of 12 caliber missiles. Oh, and something knocked a couple of steel reinforced concrete blocks around. Guess you'll be taking the train. Ukraine world related. Vacation in Crimea doesn't look so nice this year. Grain prices will be rising globally with the expiration of the agreement of safe passage of grains. South Africa has requested Mr. Vlad P. not travel to their country for the next BRICS meeting, as their signature on international criminal court agreements says that Putin's current warrants would require them to make arrest. It was recently noted that British spirits seem to be popularly served rather wet. Yet it's noted they do show as a big hit at swim parties. Perhaps it will someday be said American spirits are best known by their vapor heat, the kind that moves so fast the palate doesn't register until the whiskey is well down the gullet. Time may tell. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.